this is one of the hardest types of quadratic to factorise, where you have this number, this coefficient, in front of the x squared or y squared. Um, it makes the factorisation harder, because you can't just follow the rule of the easy method where you multiply two numbers together to give you the constant and add the two numbers to give you the value in front of the y. That doesn't work when you have a coefficient here in front of the y squared. So what we're going to do is I would suggest you review, if you've not used the grid method for expansion, I suggest you review my tutorials on how to expand using a grid because that's going to help you to figure out how to work backwards to factorise. Now when you use the grid to expand, what you find is that the two numbers here when you multiply them give you the value in here which is the same as this value here and then these two values here get multiplied together to give you the value here which relates to the constant value and then these two values in these two add together to give you the 7y so if I just colour code that we have the 2y squared, we have the 2y squared here, we have the 7y, which is these two added together, and we have the constant term, which is here. Now what we have to do is we have to work backwards to decide what we're going to put around this grid to make sure that all these things work. Now, as the coefficient in this case is two, that's a prime number. So there is only one combination of values that can go around here. And that has to be two y and y, because that's the only combination that will give me the two y squared when I multiply them. So two y multiplied by y is two y squared. Now we've got to think about what could possibly go around here to give us the minus 15. So you've got to think about the combinations of how to make up minus 15, where you can have 1 multiplied by minus 15, minus 1 multiplied by 15. You can have 3 multiplied by minus 5, or you can have minus 3 multiplied by 5. They are my combinations. And what you have to do is you have to try those combinations in these two um, areas to see if you can make these two items here add up to 7y. Now I know because I've done this one that the right combination is a 3y there and a 5 here which comes from this last combination here, because if I do y multiplied by minus 3, I get minus 3y. And if I multiply 2y by 5, my answer in here is 10y. And then 10y add minus 3y is 7y. So that combination works. So I use the values from there on the outside to fill in my brackets. So the 2y minus 3 is in one of the brackets and the y and the positive 5 is in the second bracket. And that is my factorization of the quadratic where the coefficient of x or y squared is not 1.